Hey everybody, I'm backstage here with Mr. Joel Stein. This is, for, I've done this with you before, this is for your own personal collection. I've never seen this on the <laughs> internet. What do you do with these things? I just keep it on my desktop and look at it when I'm lonely. Really? Yeah. That's weird. It's, you don't do anything weird with it, do you? No. Okay. I just look at it when I'm lonely. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. weird at all. Your book, Man Made. Changed a, things in America. Changed America for the better, I want to say. I, I, other people say differently. You call it a stupid quest for masculinity. But I think that you have to be pretty secure in your masculinity to say that you're going on a quest for masculinity. How do you respond to that, sir? I say I live in a community which does not value masculinity that much, so I can afford to be self-deprecating about it. Okay. I'm a, a journalist, live in Los Angeles. I think if I were a uh, lumberjack in the wilds of Saskatchewan, I wouldn't have had the guts to do it. Well, you wrote this article about Silicon Valley, about defending... For Business Week, yeah. For Business Week. It did cover so. on, like, uh, programmers, basically. Programmers? Yeah. I have not heard that. I like oh, that. really? It's not yeah. mine. Okay. Well, I like it. Okay. Uh, but uh, I want to know what you think about the... Uh, there's a story this week about uh, women or companies paying their employees to freeze their eggs, their female yes. employees. Yes, yeah. Where do you come down on that? Is that a good thing? Like, Because a lot of people are saying that, it's, uh, that they're doing it because... They just want these women to work all the time and not have a life and uh, freeze the eggs and make a baby down the road. I find in general when you ascribe um, reasons people are doing things to them, they're usually inaccurate. Mm -hmm. I think they have a lot of women there, as, as we do in Los Angeles in a right. certain demographic, who are older and maybe not ready to have kids or not married yet because they've been career focused or just haven't gotten married. Right. And so I think it's a service they're providing. Can you, so I don't think they're doing it on purpose to get women to work longer. Right. Can we look at it societally and say that maybe we haven't done a good job as a society making it easy for women to have both a career and a family? Definitely, but I wouldn't like blame Google for that. I don't think they're like, we can keep them here longer if we freeze their eggs. <laughs> like I just, I never, they're, Maybe they have that in them deep down, but that's not what they're thinking when they try and help people. Right. Thank we're you. such dicks. Right. Basically, right. after someone does something, we're always like, yeah, they're really doing it for money. Yeah. Like, that's what we always say. We ascribe such evil to people yeah. in their brains early on that it's not accurate. Right. That's fair. I'm so angry about this straw man I built. <laughs> ah, I hate him. Straw men are the worst. So they are horrible, <laughs> except for in The Wizard of Oz when he's oh, charming. Well, he's such a so nice guy. Really, isn't he? Sweetheart. Joel, thank you so much for coming and talking. This, this, this is going to be great on my desktop. Uh, <laughs> next time I'm lonely, I'll bust it out and just reminisce. It's wonderful. This time we had to get. No, thank you. See you next time. Continue.